everybody. Well, today we are going to continue with Napoleon Bonaparte. In this class, we are going to keep on dealing with Napoleon and his plan of becoming more and more powerful. Why? Remember that he was shrewd, egotistical, and unscrupulous. So his main idea was to get rid of Great Britain, something that he could never achieve. As you can see in the pictures, he uh, always used to wear red clothes uh, in his battles. And uh, you can also see a map of the different uh, countries which uh, Napoleon conquered. Uh, before dealing with the war of the Third Coalition, you should remember that it is a consequence of the Second Coalition War, when Great Britain didn't keep her promise of uh, giving back uh, some lands promised to Napoleon. The British, as well, were alarmed by Napoleon's extension of influence over Italy and the Netherlands, and also his alliance with Spain. As regards Napoleon, he was furious by the British refusal to leave Malta in accordance with the Treaty of Amiens. However, the main reason for the revival of the war uh, were the economic ambitions of both countries, that is to say, Great Britain and France. They wanted to dominate the markets, especially of European and Asian countries. So, uh, one more time, the economic reasons were more important than political reasons. What about the cause of the war? Although the war was declared in May 8, uh, 1803, hostilities did not start at the moment of the declaration of the war. Both sides spent more than a year in uh, preparation. What did they do? Well, the French uh, spent quite a long time in improving the fleet because Napoleon was convinced that if he improved the fleet, he could invade Great Britain. And the British, as they were alone, uh, spent some time in getting allies so as to start a new war. So there were two sides in the Third Coalition War. France, obviously, with Napoleon, was on one side, and the British allies were Austria, Russia and Sweden on the other side. Napoleon started the war and he hurled an army against the Austrians and crushed Austria, of course, taking Vienna. Then the country or the kingdom that defined Napoleon was Prussia. Napoleon accepted the challenge, destroying Prussia, taking half of her territory. In June 1807, Napoleon's troops defeated the Tsar Alexander I armies of Russia. Curiously, both emperors decided to become allies by the Treaty of Tilsit, and by that treaty Napoleon allowed the Tsar to do what he wanted with Finland and certain territories of Turkey. Well, as we um, saw before, Prussia was destroyed by Napoleon. And Prussia was loaded with staggering punishment. She was robbed of half of her territory. With that territory, Napoleon created the Duchy of Warsaw, a new Poland. And um, this is something for you to know. The Polish national anthem is the only anthem in the world that makes reference to Napoleon even nowadays. So uh, they praise Napoleon. Uh, with this uh, conquest, Napoleon became master of nearly all uh, Europe west to Russia. He became the, the owner of most European countries in that part of Europe. Um, so he was uh, getting one of his objectives, becoming more and more uh, powerful, as we said before. Uh, he forgot about the ideas of civil rights and uh, democracy and positioned family members and friends on the remaining thrones of uh, Europe. For example, the 
this picture, uh, this is a picture of uh, the meeting with Tsar Alexander I when they signed the Treaty of Tilsit. Um, then uh, you've got a, a map of New Poland, and in the pictures that you can see now, um, they are uh, Napoleon's brothers who were positioned in different uh, kingdoms. For example, Louis was positioned as the Emperor of Holland, Joseph in Naples, and Jerome in Westphalia, which nowadays is But obviously, Napoleon's obsession was England, Great Britain. Napoleon tried to invade Great Britain. Remember that, as we said before, uh, Napoleon spent quite a long time improving the French fleet, and he tried to invade Great Britain by sea. Obviously, he lost the Battle of Trafalgar in October 1805. So when he realized that it was impossible to conquer or to invade Great Britain by sea, he was decided to ruin British commerce with his new tactic. It was the uh, continental system. It was a plan which forbade European countries to trade uh, with England, and even Russia was included uh, in this scheme. Uh, this was the beginning of the downfall of Napoleon, because obviously not all the countries um, respected uh, this continental system, and there were two countries which were very important in the downfall of Napoleon. They were Russia and Spain. We will discuss uh, those uh, events in our next class. Thank you very much.